uh, last night, it was actually a good game, you know. We competed hard, we played defense, but we just didn't capitalize at the end. So overall, I thought it was a very, very good game. What's been the mood in the locker room this season? <sighs> the mood has been tough, you know. We haven't been winning a lot of games lately, so everybody seems like they're coming together as a family now. That's why we played so good last night. But like I said, we just didn't finish down the end. So like you said, you kind of come together as a team. Tell me about the difference between this year's team and last year's team. Is the chemistry different? Oh, I think the chemistry is a lot different, you know, between last year and this year's team. I mean, this year's team, it seems like we, uh, we're having a rough start right now, but it's like we're coming together as a family right now. Between last year's team, it seemed like we was a family all the way through the season. Then we just got closer and closer together as brothers. Last year, um, first year in Division Two, how has the competition, how has it gotten easier this year? Do you know more what to expect coming off your first year in Division Two to this season? Uh, I know a lot to expect. I mean, they said I was an All-American last year, and to me, I was like, wow, how, my me. <laughs> so I feel like there is more pressure, and I know what to expect now, not for only for myself, but my teammates and other teammates too, and other players and coaches also. Tell me about your time at Itawamba. How is that different? How has that transition been coming into Mississippi College? Itawamba, I love Itawamba. I mean, the coaches push me every day to get to where I'm at now. I mean, it's the ones for them. I don't know where I'll be because they, they, they started me off. So from high school to Itawamba, it was a big change. From ICC here is another big change. So I, I, I congratulate those coaches from where I'm at now. How did you end up at MC? Well, you see, they've been looking at me for a while now. So, and my coaches from I, from high school was like, just go out there and compete every day. Then my coaches from either woman said the same thing, just, just compete, and you never know what might happen. And so, at the end of the season, MC was just looking at me and they said, just come visit. And I liked it when I got here. What is the key to victory on Saturday against West Owl? And how have you guys kind of prepared for Saturday? Well, the key to victory is playing hard and sticking, sticking to the game plan. As long as we play together and play our role and don't get caught up in their role, We'll be just fine. And we got practice today just to prepare for them also. Last night, you know, the crowd was in it the whole game. They were even on their feet at the end. What does that mean to, to you guys as a team to have that kind of support from MC? Uh, that's great. I mean, we love the crowd, especially when they can do that. They just, like, support us. And, I mean, we'll try our best to do what they want from us. Um, tell me about your major and your future plans. Well, my major is criminal justice, actually. I mean, since growing up as a little boy, I always wanted to be a police officer. I mean, because my mom, she worked out there on Mississippi State Police Police Department. I was just want to follow in her footsteps. Um, so you're a senior this year. You know, it's your last your last season as a Choctaw. Uh, what's kind of the legacy that you want to leave um, for your younger teammates and just for uh, on the MC basketball program? Oh, that was a good one right there. Well, a legacy as well. I say me being a good teammate and um, bringing it every night. As long as um, my teammates there for me, I'm there with them. So just being a good teammate, all-around player. Well, thank you so much for your time, Tori. Right, and good you. luck on Saturday. Thank you.